fighting out of the blue corner tonight and weighing in at 70 kilos. He's had 18 fights for 13 wins. He's training at the Matrix Gym. Please welcome Frank Giorgi. His opponent tonight weighing in at 70.5 kilograms with a fight record of 23 wins from 26 encounters. He fights out of the Mad X Gym and he won the WMC Asia Pacific title in Hong Kong this year. He is Eli Mad Dog Madigan. Third man in centre in here, Andrew Keogh. The stare down, Frankie Georgie. Have a look at the look on the kisser of Georgie, and there is fire in the eyes of Eli Madigan. This fight's been contested over five three minute rounds of Muay Thai action. The man in the middle who has been in the ring with both these gentlemen before, the referee Andrew Keogh. Third man in centering, Andrew Keogh gets us underway. We are set, five by three, full tie rules, all the good stuff. Knees and elbows, 70 kilos, brought to you by supremebloodstock.com. Nice jab, right hand, inside thigh kick there from Eli Madigan in the red gloves. Frankie Georgie coming off that knockout victory at the Southport RSL last time out. More on the shore in the blue gloves. These two young bulls who are vying to be labelled the next big thing in Queensland Muay Thai. Who will come up trumps? Look for the excellence of execution, that is Eli Madigan. And look for the power, that is Frankie Georgie. Well, Michael, talking to... Uh to a few of the guys out the back earlier. A lot of them uh, were, were saying this might be a one-horse race, Eli Madigan's way. For mine, Frankie George is just uh, a little bit too strong for that, but he'll, uh, he'll issue the challenge. But Eli's a very fast starter, and the difference is going to be if Georgie can either go with him or weather the storm early. Well, I'll have a look at Eli Madigan already. More combinations than a Chinese Ooh. restaurant. Straight right hand there from Madigan. That was actually, I think it was a short right elbow. Very quick, the though. front kick off the lead leg does Madigan jab two. And Eli Madigan dominating in the early stages of this fight. Oh, faint inside thigh kick right hand. And this is just sublime and succulent combination work from Eli Madigan. But Frankie Georgie says, come on, son. Is that all you've got? And Georgie tries to skip forward with his power salvos. Georgie just carrying his guard a little low for my liking. I like to see his hands up a bit higher, have him looking through the gloves, especially fighting a much taller opponent in Eli Madigan. Frankie Georgie with the carnage. Nathan Corbett in the corner. Inside thigh kick from Georgie. Didn't find the target. Have a look at that four strike combination from Eli Madigan. Short poking left hand from Madigan. Frankie Georgie taking more strikes than a bowling alley here in the first round. Checks the low kick, does Georgie. This is great use of the, of the push kick by Yellow. He uses his range very well. He's a tall fighter for this weight division, and he's using his, uh, his reach supremely. Georgie, however, he'll walk through a lot of that stuff, so Yellow really has to commit when he, uh, when he uses those straight line techniques. Nice front kick from Georgie. Just sends Eli Madigan back a couple of paces. Trade of front kicks. Again, Madigan draws a short straw, takes a body shot, and charges across the ring. How smooth is Eli Madigan when he is on song, and he is on song here tonight. Well, Eli was touted to fight the Shaggy, and that would have been a crackerjack fight, and that is certainly something I hope we see in 2000 and, uh, 2007. Oh, left hook from Madigan. Stunned him momentarily. Uppercut elbow. Couldn't get through the guard. Madigan pulling out all the stops here in the first round. And there we have it in the first. We go to the towels and hammer for Eli Madigan. There's one word for it. Champagne. champagne. <laughs> Give me the bottle. Well, here's the action from the first. Again, Eli using that push kick to keep Georgie at bay. Georgie needs to keep his hands up because Eli is certainly going to uh, use that trigger fast right hand, rocketing in over the guard of Georgie every opportunity he gets. Georgie trying for the uh, the push or the round kick to take out Eli's supporting leg. Eli balancing off the ropes. Okay, we are ready to rock and roll. Second round of action. The voice Michael Chevello, the Hammer Mark Cincinnati.
leadership by Eli Madigan in the first round. He had more combinations than a back sack, and he opens up like a house on fire. Eli Madigan trying to thread the round kick to the back of the neck of Frankie Georgie. Georgie just keeps him at bay the front kick. Jab two, left clipping hook there from Eli Madigan. Again forces Georgie back. Oh, straight right hand, smack bang on the kisser. But Georgie is one tough customer. Well, Georgie's the turnaround man, Michael. We've seen him do this before. He's a slow starter, but he certainly comes back. He's got, a very, he's got an ironclad steel resolve, and he'll just keep going forward. What he's got to do is not be at the end of the glove of Eli Madigan. High left round kick there from Madigan. Left hook, right hand. Outside thigh kick, and Eli Madigan is absolutely on the money so far. Frankie Georgie has to change that because just when he thinks he's got the answers, Eli Madigan changes the questions. Front kick from Madigan, belly button through the back, straight right hand, trying to plow through the guard of Frankie Georgie. Double jab right hand from Madigan, more punch than a high school prom. The punches fall short there from Georgie. Madigan just throws those kicks with so much power, so much aggro. Georgie's head rocks back like an oral B ad, and Madigan just wading through Georgie's offensive. Well, this is Frankie Georgie's biggest test today. Boys, he's, uh, he's been taken uh, down the road many a time, and he's always come out on top. But tonight, he's really stepped up a class in taking on Eli Madigan. What a great matchup! What a great fight. Georgie. Can he find salvation in a knockdown shot? You figure that Eli Madigan is just too slick. He's proving harder to catch than Osama Bin Laden. And he tags Georgie. Georgie turns him around, down one, cross the elbow, back of the neck. Dangerous area to strike. Perfectly legal, however. And that's why Muay Thai is the most brutal combat sport on the planet. Let check there from Georgie. Oh, straight right hand, schnoggin knocker. He'll be breathing out of the back of his head after that one. Well, Step sir. up front, kick off the real leg Three from Georgie. Jab two Eli. from Eli Hammer. I'm sorry, Michael. I was going to say, well, obviously Eli Madigan has done his homework on Frankie Georgie. He knows his attacks and he's cutting him off. Every time Georgie comes in to unload, Madigan's cutting him off. He's done his homework. This is an almost flawless fight here from Eli Madigan. Checks the low kick, offensively, defensively. Madigan is on the money. Fires out another front kick to the sternum. End of the round, lock it away once more for the red corner and Eli Madigan. Well, Eli Madigan uh, is doing a great job. He's keeping Georgie at range and certainly uh, using the tactics that he needs to use to do the job. Once again, you see Georgie stalking forward, trying to get in, unleash on the power on, on Madigan. Madigan just waiting, timing, bang, the push kick to the face, perfectly executed, and it just makes it oh so hard for Georgie to get on the inside. Stepping across, Madigan on the attack yet again, chopping low, supporting leg taken out of Georgie. Text well, we are following the third round of five here. It has been domination by Eli Madigan so far. And some concern in the corner of Frankie Georgie. Have a look at that snaking uppercut off the left hand as Georgie tries to career through with the overhand elbow. It has just been a cerebral fight from Eli Madigan and look at him string them together. It is almost effortless, Hammer, the way he puts these combinations together. Well, Eli is certainly uh, picking Georgie's forward attacks. I think uh, well, if I was in uh, Georgie's corner, I'd perhaps say, Let's change this plan here and make it a counterfighting game. Draw Eli's attacks, cover for him, and then counterfight off him. But uh, George is very intent on going forward. He's an aggressive fighter. He fights with a big heart, Frankie Georgie. We've seen that many, many times on Fox Sports. And you know what? Tonight is no, uh, no different to that. The only thing is, as I said, Eli's done his homework and he's keeping Georgie on the end of the gloves. Outside fire kick to the lead quadricep area, Frankie Georgie. Another flawless performance so far from Eli Madigan. Pokes out the jab. Georgie tried to go through with the right hand. That kick caught on the humerus bone, but there was nothing funny about it. 
Georgie just pokes out the jab again. Inside five kick, right hand from Eli. Backs in from Pillar to post. Look at Eli Madigan go the right hand. The big buck Troy. Well, Georgie, and Georgie just, fires straight back. Georgie just trying to get the grapple on there, and Eli not allowing it. He doesn't want to get into a grappling exchange with uh, with Georgie Eli. He's keeping it at that uh, kicking and punching range. He's not worrying too much about the knees and the grappling. Front kick from Georgie. Just trying to keep Eli Madigan at bay. Bangs to the carcass does Eli Madigan. The exclamation mark with the outside thigh kick. It is an absolute delight to watch. Jump balking right hand there. Left hook straight right hand from Madigan. Left hooks again outside thigh kick. Popping jab, right hand from Frankie Georgie. But once again, just can't get through with that one big power shot he is looking for. Only a slip in centering there for Madigan. Seconds ticking down here in this round. This fight is ticking away from Frankie Georgie and Lesser Charges Tax Hammer. Well, it's, uh, he's trying to rally Georgie as we've seen him do on a number of occasions. But tonight, Eli Madigan's just not going down that road with him and keeping him at bay, fighting a very, very clever fight. Oh, straight right hand! And that'll make Frankie Georgie wish he played long balls instead. Right hand there from Georgie. Left hook over the top of the right glove from Eli. Jab outside, thigh kick. Georgie fires back. Madigan ties him up. And another round hammer for the man in the red corner, Eli Madigan. Well, it's uh, the, old, uh, the old cliche excellence of execution is certainly uh, all Eli Madigan tonight. He's doing the job very cleverly indeed. Well, once again, we see Georgie going forward with a push kick. Eli just weaving backwards, giving it uh, room to let the power pass. And then straight back with his power base comes Eli Madigan. Georgie catching the ground kick, sending Eli down. He's good at catching, but he's got to, he's got to bring the answer in a lot quicker after that. Eli, fourth right hand, Georgie covers, Eli chops low. And it's just a rotation of technique from Eli Madigan that has done this job so well for him in centre ring tonight. And backstage we see Simon Mong Jong Tong warming up for the semi-main event. Can he get his revenge against Thailand's Peck Tuk Sin? That's coming up next. We are ready to roll. It is the fourth of five, and so far it has been all one-way traffic to Eli Madigan. Frankie Georgie opens up aggressively, but is there a little bit of frustration creeping into the game now of Frankie Georgie? He hasn't found the power blows that he is so used to. Coming off a KO win at the Southport RSL, and finally, he lands a clean right hand. Madigan just smiles at him, says, no, nope, you didn't hurt me with that one, Frankie, and then rallies back. Oh, straight right hand. Smack back on the jawline again from Madigan. I'm telling you, Hammer, trying to figure out how to beat Eli Madigan is about as hard as trying to figure out why men have nipples. Who knows? <laughs> Frankie Georgie can't solve it at the moment. <laughs> oh, you can put that one down in the, in the goal call, Chevelle. I'll allow that one. But uh, I tell you what, Eli Madigan, he's got it all. He's got a good power base and he's got some great technique. He's got some great skills. And you know, it's going to be interesting to see Eli Madigan just progress as a fighter. But Frankie Georgie will only improve from this experience and uh, it can certainly go on from here. These are two of Australia's, as we said in the opener, two of Australia's best up-and-coming fighters you're seeing battle in centre ring right now. Inside thigh kick from Frankie Georgie. Goes up to the rib cage, caught him on the elbow. Jab, quarter turn off to his left, working the angles very well in centering Eli Madigan. As I said, an almost flawless fight from the boy from the Maddox gym. It is a great display of Aussie Muay Thai at its finest. And 4,000 on hand here at the Sleeman Sports Complex are enjoying every moment of it. Well, Queensland Thai Boxing Promotions have done it yet again. The Evolution Series just keep going from strength to strength, Michael. And uh, fights like these are exactly why. Frankie Georgie needs to find some sort of telling blow here. Double jab, right hand. Didn't get through with the clean shot. Overhand right from Eli, almost took out the ceiling lights. 
Body shot. Oh, left hook. The switch is flow for Brown. Here comes Madigan. Here comes the pain. And Georgie fires straight back. You've got to give it up. If I had a hat, I'd take it off to Frankie Georgie. He's all guts and intestinal fortitude. Well, there, there is no doubt. A lesser fighter would have certainly uh, folded by now, thrown it down, given it up against the uh, the relentless attacks of, uh, of Eli Madigan. But Frankie George is always there, always there to fight, and he's doing a fantastic job and, uh, and keeping a challenge in Eli Madigan's face. Tip kick to the lead leg, goes a little higher to the midsection of Frankie Georgie. Jab from Eli Madigan into the fourth. We've got one more to go. Well, yet again, a good technical round from Eli Madigan. He's been well prepared for this event. And, uh, you know, hat off to, to the Maddox, Jim, and uh, everyone involved with Eli's preparation. It's been sensational stuff. Well, this is what it, how it went down in the uh, in the round. Eli, inside thigh, rolls the hip nicely on the right hand. Again, measures off against Georgie, sends him back into the blue corner. And it's all aggression and forward movement from Eli Madigan if he has the opportunity. If he hasn't, he's on the back foot and firing still off the back foot. Perfectly executed rook from Eli. And uh, he has certainly got his eye in tonight. And again, Georgie just getting caught with that hook. And I'll tell you what, a lesser fighter would have certainly folded, having his jaw slapped out of whack by a hook like that from Eli and the big right hand to boot. Eli is just relentless. It's been a great battle so far. We're into the fifth and final round. Frank Georgie versus Eli Both men touch gloves, and we are ready to rock and roll. Fifth and final round. Frankie Georgie tries to fire the overhand right, foot and mouth there from Eli Madigan. It has been domination and almost flawless performance for four rounds so far for Eli Madigan. Frankie Georgie needs a knockout to win this one. The facts are that simple. Tip kick to the lead thigh of Georgie. Not enough mustard behind that right hand to do any damage. High knee under the left arm there from Eli Madigan. Checks the low kick, does Madigan. Circles off clockwise. Snakes the uppercut, rocks the jaw back slightly of Frankie Georgie. High left round kick was caught on the glove. And Hammer, you've got to wonder, has Frankie Georgie got any tricks left or is he just trying to see out the final round here? Does he know that this one is probably beyond his reach? Oh, he just got caught with a stinging round kick to the face to Georgie, but uh, to answer your question, Michael, he's, uh, he's got to still resolve, as I said. And uh, he's given it up and uh, he still sees himself as maybe finding that one opening, maybe landing that, uh, that finishing shot. Eli, Eli Madigan tonight, is, as I said, he's, uh, he's looking too sharp. He's looking too composed and if, unless something goes very, very wrong, I can't oh. see that happening. Have a look at that. Georgie had the leg tied up and Madigan tagged him with the right hand, just using that reach advantage. Spins out of trouble does Frankie Georgie. But once again, it is the total domination, the complete package. That is Eli Madigan. Frankie Georgie has tried his hardest, but he cannot find a chink in the armor of Eli Madigan for four and a half rounds so far. And as time ticks down on Georgie, and Madigan continues to circle him, continues to tee off like a golf course. Frankie Georgie can only hope to see up the round. Long-reaching jab again from Eli Madigan. He's had more jabs than an inoculation clinic. Left hook from Frankie Georgie. Madigan misses with the right hand. High left round kick from Madigan. Hammer, it has to be one of the finest performances we've seen in 06. This one by Eli Madigan. Have a look as he almost sends Frankie Georgie over the top rope. Well, you know, technically, it is definitely one of the best fights uh, you're likely to see from Eli Madigan. And take nothing away from Frankie Georgie because he is one tough competitor. He keeps walking forward. He keeps wanting the fight. And, uh, you know, that's that's a, that's a big heart from uh, from Georgie. Eli, he's just the uh, excellence of execution, putting it all together so well. Textbook stuff from him. And, uh, you know, I'm just in awe of both of these champions. Wherever you're watching, folks, we hope you're enjoying it just as much as we are. Eli Madigan loops the chin around the back of the neck, pokes out the jab. Frankie Georgie's nose is bleeding now. And there it is, end of the fifth and final round. And this one is going to go the way of Eli Madigan. And I know that Dennis Garcia watching up in Harvey Bay is going to like that one because he's a big Eli Madigan fan.
This was the action from the last round. That was action from start to finish this one. Eli Madigan, a constant work rate. He was a fast starter and he was a good finisher. And uh, Eli certainly did the job. Georgie got caught with big shots just like that one. And you know what? He stood up to him. And uh, you've got you've to pay full respect to Frankie Georgie for doing that. He really made Eli work for this win. And uh, as I said, Georgie will learn a lot from this fight and uh, become a much better fighter and a true champion in every uh, sort of aspect of the word for it. The judges' scorecards are in. Ladies and gentlemen, a unanimous points decision to the red corner, Eli Mad Dog Madigan. No doubt about it, Eli Madigan chalks up yet another win in one of his...